Welcome back to the PLG123. Today we're talking about Retool. Let's dive in. Retool just raised at a $3.2 billion valuation. This is after just raising at a $1.85 billion valuation in December. The startup community says the sky is falling, but Retool is out here partying like it's still peak 2021. So what exactly has Retool figured out that they're able to ride above the market chaos totally undisturbed? Hint, it's about being contrarian. The common sense view is that you can only build a big software company going after the biggest problems experienced by the largest populations of users. TAM is all important, so focus on the fat head and avoid the long tail. Retool's key contrarian insight was that the long tail of problems is actually the biggest, most overlooked opportunity in software today. But rather than trying to solve each and every specific problem in that long tail on a discrete basis, they instead built a platform that lets customers solve their own long tail problems by building bespoke internal apps with Retool. Retool is not just another developer tool. It's a complete developer platform that lets you easily connect to data sources, write business logic that matches your exact internal workflow, and lastly, Retool gives you a set of drag and drop front end components to build the UI for business users. So if you have an internal process that's outgrown its spreadsheet, you should check out Retool. If you have existing internal apps plagued with technical debt that you're struggling to even maintain, you should check out Retool. And if you're any kind of ops leader who needs more automation to survive, you should grab some internal developers and check out Retool together. So yeah, basically everybody should check out Retool. Because if you look closely enough at that long tail, you see a bunch of problems in your own organization that can be solved with internal apps powered by Retool. Well, that does it for today in the PLG123. Make sure to follow me for more videos featuring VC perspectives on today's top stories. Oh.